Challenge 4. Here's what we know. We've restored communication with the payload module, but we still can't operate it. The challenge? Now teams must restore normal operations of the payload module so we can access the imager. Here's how they do it. Teams discover that the payload module bootloader has been corrupted, which is why the payload module is not operating normally. The teams discover a system console to the payload module and the ability to access the payload module system console by controlling an undocumented GPIO and multiplexer on the C and DH board. The teams must write a custom flight software application that can control the GPIO and enable access to the payload system console. After writing the application, the teams must upload it to the C and DH and execute it. Once the teams have access to the system console, they will identify that it has been corrupted. The teams will need to research nominal Cubos bootloader configuration and repair the payload module's bootloader to resume proper operation of the payload module.